Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're going to begin the new expansion DLC, the Luxury Flipper. So if you come into the browser in the in-game computer, you'll find that under the Jobs tab there's now a new section of Work Orders or Jobs. And the first one it looks like is a boat. A boat? This is the first boat we've ever had in the game then, isn't it? Wow. I wonder how they managed to build this. Right, here we go. I'm on a boat. Job one. Jimmy took advantage of his father's absence and threw a huge party on the family's yacht. He had a great time with his friends, which can be proved by the equally great mess they've left behind. Now, the young social butterfly needs someone willing to clean it up before his father's return. Fortunately, a world tour he's currently on will go on for another week or so. So, son has had a big party on his dad's yacht and now he's in trouble and he's calling us in to sort it out for him. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you can see the kind of standard building technique made for the... Oh, that's actually a really good way of building a boat in using the same sort of building techniques they've had for the uh, houses in the past, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's actually kind of cool. I like the little deck thing they've got, the concrete deck thing at the back. Oh. Wow, that's actually cool. That's something really different. Oh, that's really exciting. So that's the first thing we've found in the game for the expansion. So that's absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Oh, look, can you see like the Hollywood sign, Moonrise Bay? Yo, cool. My yacht. Always a bit entitled. Fathers, but let's be honest. It's almost mine at this point. <gasps> Always a spoiled boy, isn't he? I invited some friends over. The party was epic. I'm quite popular, you see. We had a blast. At least the parts I remember. <laughs> oh dear, party Please. boy. I've got a message. Told you I'm. Oh no, my dad is coming back earlier. <laughs> All this mess. He could not see any of it. All right, I'll try Everything and save has you. To be cleaned. As if nothing had happened here. Yeah, you're not going to be able no, to fool no, him. No, 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 my dad's records. They should be on the wall. You Let's hope nobody threw them overboard. They must be somewhere around here. You have. God, dad is going to be so pissed. Yeah, you should have thought of that before the trouble. party. I, I know you can save my skin. Maybe next Please. time he'll think before he has the big party. I'll pay you a little <laughs> extra if you do help me. I'll see what you I can will do, Jimmy. Help me, right? Of course I will, Jimmy. I'm on a boat! <laughs> We're going on a boat! Oh, I'm right excited now for this D DLC. That's cool. We're going to be on a boat. We can buy a boat. We can have an office on a boat. Wow! Yeah, I really like that they've got this little concrete deck on the back of the boat. That's kind of cool. You'd probably go diving from there, wouldn't you, on a real boat? I like that, the Moonlight Bay sign in the, the background of the town. And there's a whole town there. I'm assuming the rest of the job is going to be inside the town. So this is our intro job, isn't it? It's a clean-up job. Oh gosh, they have made a mess. Oh dear, messy, messy party people. Yes, this is going to be a bit of a big job of cleaning up, isn't it? But there's not going to be any decorating, probably. It's just mostly just a clean-up job. So should be relatively straightforward and it is a boat so it's quite a small job relatively so we'll see how long this takes as well so we'll start with the cleaning and see what we get done oh i think we're going to have to replace the fridge though so what does it say oh yes it does say we need to sell um the cooker and the fridge so we'll probably have to replace those but the rest are just going to be a clean-up job and uh, definitely need to find the records so everywhere we go we need to be looking for his dad's records and really hope that nobody threw them overboard. Ooh. That looks like broken glass, doesn't it? So the, hopefully it's just... Um, an actual glass that they dropped. Right, so let's tidy up a little bit. So the plates don't seem to be sellable. So what we'll do is we'll stack them in a neat little stack. And then we'll see if the cup... Oh, those cups are sellable. Oops, no, I didn't mean to move the unit. Right, 
So if we just use the hand tool instead of the sell tool, then anything that can be sold will be sold, and anything that shouldn't be sold, you can just move. Oh, so they're empty takeout containers, okay. I thought they looked a little bit like cutlery trays for a second there, but they were the wrong shape, weren't they? Right, so that's the plates I can see in a nice neat stack. Now what about the spoon? Okay, let's just keep that neat then, that's not a sellable. So they're takeout containers, we'll get rid of those. So some cans down the bottom here. What is that? It looks like paint. I'm sure it's not paint, but it looks like paint, doesn't it? Very strange. Oh, is it maybe orange juice or something? Because it was kind of orangey, wasn't it? We need to pick up that spoon. And put that next to the other one that we've already got. We need to rotate that around a bit. Let's, let's put them in the same order, yeah. Uh, right, lots and lots of... They had a great big takeout thing, didn't they? Yeah. So they brought tons and tons of takeout and tons of bottles of wine by the looks of it. And then they ate and drank and went a little cray cray. Right, so there's an awful lot of selling. Right, some decent goblets here. That, oh, that bottle looks like... That one's not a sellable, so we'll, we'll try and just neaten the table up a little bit. We're not going to go for perfect place settings, but... Uh, that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we've got six, so that's probably a full set, so we haven't lost any of those. And we'll give everything a clean, and we'll pick up the chairs and try and make it just a little bit neater, sort of the way it probably would have been originally. I mean, it doesn't have to be completely perfect, because they are expecting a teenage boy to have been using the place. The fact that it's all going to be neat and tidy is probably going to give away that the teenage boy did something wrong because teenage boys are not renowned for uh, keeping things perfect, are they? <laughs> so that a, having a professional cleaner come in and do the job for him will probably give away that he did something he shouldn't. Right, and everything's white as well. It's the worst colour furniture for uh, for having a party boy in there, isn't it? Oh, that's looking so much better already, isn't it? So there's definitely... Oh, right, there's two different sets of stairs with doors at the bottom. So we're going to have to remember to go both ways to make sure we don't miss some rooms out as we go along. Oh, gosh, there's clothes on the floor. There's clothes on the floor. Let's hope they have bikinis and things on underneath the clothes. And um, otherwise, I just... The mind boggles and I don't want to think about it. Let's 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 make sure we, that his dad doesn't find out because that would just make his dad sad and scared. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's rotate this, make it at the right sort of position. That looks much better, doesn't it? That looks like a nice seating area. It's very tastefully done, isn't it? In all these pale colours. They spent a fortune on the boat. Very nice. And this this gives us an idea of what the potential for the boat is as well when we can purchase it ourselves. It's so well done now with the furnishings and everything, it's really, really good. I'm now concerned that when I get the boat myself, I won't do as good a job. <laughs> we have to try and outdo ourselves with the boat then, don't we? Right, can I make this just a, can I make them in a nice little roast, just make it look neat? Yeah, that's not bad, that'll do. Right, sell a lot more stuff. Oh gosh, how many bottles did they bring? It's no wonder the guy can't remember what happened last night if they drunk all of that. Wow. It's actually a miracle that more stuff isn't broken, isn't it? We've only got to replace a couple of things, so that's that's actually really good considering the whole place could have been completely destroyed and we're only cleaning up. Very good. They weren't as unruly probably as the, the amount of mess makes it look because most things are not broken. Awesome. Oh, it's very, very pretty, isn't it? I really like this boat. Very nice. The thing with the boat, you see, is there's lots of little, <coughs> like, nooks and crannies on the decks and things, and little alleyways and corners and things, so it's going to be very easy to miss a little bit of trash. And with this one, because it's a job, we actually get a, a trash counter. 
so we'll know if we've got everything or not but uh, it would be quite easy to, to make sure we go on all the little deck walkways and up and down all the sets of stairs to make sure we don't miss anything so yeah we're just straightening everything now Let's sell all the junk straighten the furniture and then give it all a clean so at the other side we have this little nice little table between the two chairs i'm not seeing one here on this side yet and they're not asking us to replace anything so maybe there was only one little chair out here uh, i mean one little table between the other two chairs i kind of would have expected there to be another little table between these two but there isn't is there Hmm, interesting. But this nice light colour scheme works really well with the yacht, doesn't it? I have to try and remember that when we do that ourselves. That bright, light, fresh feel to the place. So let's neaten this up a little bit here with these recliners. Yeah, strange that there's only one of those little tables. You would think there'd be one with the other two chairs, wouldn't you? Hmm. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Very clean lines, very slick and sleek. Yes, yeah, so we've got walls on either side, but the front and back are open, aren't they? Where's the front got windows? The front's got windows, but the back's completely open, so if you were in really rough, nasty weather or there was a lot of rain, it would be um, easy for the back to get covered in wet, wouldn't it? Right, so, oh wait, that's the mini fridge. So that's not the same fridge that we're just replacing, is it? This is a mini fridge. This could actually go on the countertop, but the one we were replacing was sat on the floor. So we'll, we'll put it in the corner in the same place as where we've removed the fridge. And the cooker is different to the one that we are selling as well. Right, so we want it to be light to match the decor, don't we? So that's all as light as we can make it to match our white and pale grey decor. And I think a little bit further forward, so it's sort of in line with the unit. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so the mini fridge would also go on top of the counters, but I've put it where the old fridge was. And they can always move it if they don't like it. But I'd like it on the floor because if you're on a boat and everything's a rocking, it's better not to have lots of things on top of uh, units and surfaces. And we missed, a f missed this little corner. See what I was saying about all the little corners on a boat? It's easy to miss stuff. Yeah, right in the corner. Look, there's a bit of dirt there right in the corner as well. Yeah, make sure you check all the nooks and crannies. Oh, cabinets. I wonder if the record could be inside one of the cabinets. Well, I hope we don't have to check every cabinet because there's a lot of them on here, isn't there? We'll save the checking of cabinets for the last thing to do. Um, I keep pressing the, the light switch because it's right next to the moving move around switches. And my fingers keep going in the wrong spot today. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing that. Okay, let's straighten this a little bit again. So this is where you drive when you're moving the boat. I'm not sure I want chairs on wheels on a boat. If you're in rough seas you'll be constantly moving. <laughs> That's the one thing I think is a bit out of place. I would have liked a, a more stationary chair I think for, to try and to drive. Though to be honest you'd probably be stood up while you're doing most of the driving just to give yourself a better view out of the front wouldn't you? Ooh upper deck is a mess too. Oh wow look at the big unit of chairs on the back. Okay let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's sell all of the junk first. Give it all a nice clean up. Very easy for a party to make an awful lot of mess, isn't there? And also, a lot of it's relatively easy to clean up. If they'd have just had a big bin and chucked everything in as they went along, we wouldn't have this problem, would we? <laughs> but then we wouldn't have the job either, would we? So I shouldn't be uh, regretting them uh, getting us to do the job. Oh, we've got a sofa by the uh, command desk up at the top here. And this is all open as well, so if you had really bad weather, all of this would probably get wet. So all this soft furnishing, you should have 
have outdoor furniture on this top deck, shouldn't you? Because it'll get all wet. See, I'm being too practical. It's in the game and it's not real, but you're still worrying about rain. <laughs> I'm too practical, aren't I? Yes, that's my problem. They're going for aesthetics, not practicality here. Let's, again, let's straighten the table. This is a really pretty table, isn't it? Oh, I like that. It's got like a decorative geometric trestle with uh, glass all around it. Very nice. Alright, check all the corners and the nooks and crannies. Yeah, so look at the sofa at the uh, con here. If you want to stand up, that could be a little bit um, difficult to stand up there. I like the idea and it's a less movable piece of furniture. Right, that was that was easier. The top deck was a lot easier. As there are less nooks and crannies to find than on this deck. And I think we've done all of the stuff on this deck. Just have a quick check to make sure we didn't miss anything. I think we did. So now we've got two sets of stairs leading down in two different directions. Quick clean here. So we've got two room two rooms on either side by the looks of it. What's this? Oh, a gym on a boat. Wow. How the other half live, hmm? I suppose if, you, if you've got enough money to uh, have a yacht, why not have a, a little gym on there? Lovely, hey? Yeah, so just a little bit of a clean here. Um, Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't. I think I don't think any of this will have been moved, will it? No. I think everything in here is in the proper places. So. Yeah, I've putting a gym on the boat. Wow. Interesting, huh? Yeah. So we just have to clean up a little bit in there. That was, oh, this looks like a bedroom. So what's this? The master suite, maybe next to the gym. Don't think about what's on the floors. Oh wait, is that a record there under all of this stuff? Oh, why pull the record off the wall and just drop it on the floor? That's just crazy, isn't it? Oh, well, that's going to be much simpler then. We don't have to check all of the cupboards to look for that. I right, can't make the bed. Um, what's that then? Oh, bathroom. Lovely, en suite. Oh, now his, his uh, guitar's on the floor. Oh dear. Good job Dad didn't see that. You owe me, Jimmy. You really do. Alright, let's make that in line with the others. Lovely. And there's the other record. Look, let's put that back up on the wall. Lovely. Well, that was much easier. The records was much easier. I was expecting to have to go through all the cupboards for those. Right, let's sort the trophy out a little bit. Let's move the other one across so they're kind of in the middle. Ooh, rotate it. There we go. Much nicer, Kitty. Right, now clean. Nice clean. Remove all the evidence. Nothing bad happened here. Oh no, somebody graffitied this painting. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> yes, good job Dad didn't see that. Jimmy would have definitely been in trouble. You owe me, Jimmy. You really do. Dirty. I like these little windows. Very nice for in the boat. Right, let's see. Again, we'll with the nice light white. So it's just mostly a little bit of a clean up here. A few little bits of trash. Not too bad in here. There we go. Towels, I think, on the floor there. We'll uh, get rid of those. You'll have to bring some clean ones in here. With, uh, Jimmy. So there you go, that's Dad's master suite and his gym done. So we've just got one more. Yeah, so we've recorded his record. So we've just got to go down the other set of stairs and the two rooms over there now. So probably cabins over here. Oh no! What have they done to my father's anchor? Anchor? Is it a memento? My friends or? must have played with it at the party and now it's ruined. Or is it a historic piece? Or a decorative piece? 
you clean it? You have some tools for that, right? Oh, do we get a new... Uh, here's a segment of the furniture to work on. Oh, we can work on furniture now. Oh, the first step of renovation is always clean cleaning the surface of the furniture. Every material requires a specific tool to do that. It oh, it's must a be on every side. Dad cannot notice any trace of those damages, or I'm a goner. Well, it looks like it's made out of wood, so I would imagine it's more a decorative piece than a historic piece, because anchors traditionally are not made of wood, are they? So this is a decorative piece. All right, so it's clean. Make sure we've got all the sides. So to flip it is Q and then to move it is hold the right mouse button and move the camera around like you're walking it or Q to flip it. So yeah, so we're learning how to renovate Wait, pieces of furniture. What Ooh. happened to the colour? Can you fix it? Do you know what colour it was, Jimmy? Make it look, you know, finished? <laughs> no, he doesn't know what colour it was. Oops, um, it was sort of a dark colour, wasn't it? After preparing the furniture surface, you need to choose the finish. Choices may vary depending on the material each piece is made of. Right, so we can paint it or we can varnish it. Well, it was definitely varnish, not paint. So the question is, what colours do we have? It was sort of reddish. This is sort of reddish. So what do we do? We don't need to pick it up. It just automatically goes. Oh, that's too dark, isn't it? Hmm. Can we change that now we've started it there? Or do we have to go with what we've picked? I think we have to go with what we've picked, don't we? So let's do the big piece. So that's sort of a a slightly brown, but we can't, we're not sure what colour it would have originally been because they said that they played with it and dirtied it. So we don't know what colour it was and Jimmy wasn't very helpful about giving us an indication of what colour it was, was he? So I guess it's not going to matter which colour it is, only that it's made to look better. If it did matter, they would have given us the specific colours, wouldn't they? So it's just to teach us how to make it work. I like the fact that we can change things and renovate things. That's a really nice addition. I hope it's not just for the jobs. I hope we can do that in the actual... Hmm... That's almost an orange, isn't it? Not sure about that colour. I think it might be too much. Can we change it? No, we don't want to like that paint. We want to... How about paler? Better? Maybe slightly too pale, but much better. If we think back to it, it was kind of a... It was kind of a pale colour. I think maybe if I was doing it for myself, I might change it to a slightly different colour to that, but... I think paler is actually a lot better than that orange we had originally. So I think I'm going to stick with this one. Because with the colour schemes I've got on the rest of the boat, this will actually match much better, won't it? So yeah, let's lose this one. So. This I think matches the boat as it is. Ew, that was close! Looks like new to me now, and my eyesight is way better than my dad's. Thank you! You've made it. Now you can leave the renovation mode by pressing enter and put the renovated furniture wherever it will present itself best. Well, since it's down here, I'm going to assume it was on the wall at the end here. So just below the light, and we'll pop it up there, and then we'll give the rest of the area a clean. So there we go, we're learning how to do renovations. I didn't even know that was coming. To be honest, I haven't looked too much into the details of the DLC before it came out, because I, I wanted it to be fresh when I came to it. Beautiful. Yes, and as expected, we've got cabin here, and I'm assuming the other side is going to be a second cabin as well. Though, but the other side we had a uh, gym, and I wasn't expecting that. Oh gosh, was that a mirror? <gasps> oh, they've smashed the mirror. He's not asking us to replace anything yet, is it? Oh, he's telling us to sell the broken mirror. Okay, let's tidy up a bit. Oh, we can make this bed. That's nice. More junk. More cook. straighten the lamp because it's been knocked over. Sell the uh oh oh no did I just sell the 
I did, I just saw the lamp, didn't I? I'm going to have to figure out which lamp that was. Mm. Right, I saw the mirror. That's because I'm on the cell tool instead of the uh, hand tool, so probably best to always be on the hand tool, not the cell tool, unless you absolutely have to sell something like the mirror. Because, as you can see, I just accidentally sold my lamp. Hmm. Yeah, but we're definitely going to have to replace that now. Uh, let's straighten the paintings. Uh, well, that's not central, is it? There must be a little gap between the two panels. So I need to move that across just a little bit. Lovely. Right, so I've got to figure out... So it's sort of an oval base and a round top, and it's all sort of goldy, browny colour. Sort of a bronzy colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's not asking me to replace it, so I'm going to have to go to the store and try and find it. So it's a sort of bronzy colour with a base and a shade. Let's see if we can find it. No, you're not going to find it in gardens, Kitty. Uh, lighting. Right. What can we see? Not see it yet? Sort of a, it's a solid base like the Akanta, but a, it's wider, more overly. Oh, wait, is it that one? The ornate, yeah, and it's the golden? Yes, I think it's that one. Yeah, that's the one. There we go, we fixed our mistake. Good, good, good. Right, and we've got all the, got all the dirt and everything's put back in place. Right. So I think all we've got left now is this little bathroom here, and then I think the job will be completed. So job number one on a boat is almost done. There we go, just a little clean. That was relatively simple, wasn't it? Oh no, we've got another room, haven't we? See, I was thinking we were done there, but we haven't. We've got an entire another room, haven't we? Always worth double checking that we've got everything before we leave. Yep, so here we are, last bedroom. This is definitely the last one now. Uh, let's see. Food in the bedrooms. Mm, big bags of chips, okay. Hungry, hungry teenagers, huh? Uh, clean. It's kind of a proper cabin bed, that one, isn't it? That's a guest room, isn't it, probably? Right, that was quite simple. So just the bathroom now. Oh, I made a bit of a mess of that. Let's give it a clean. Oh, lots of cabinets and storage here. Yeah? Or maybe this is Jimmy's room. Go. We have completed the job, and we we're well within budget as well, so that it gives us a little bit of leeway in case we accidentally solve things. So I think we've done it all then. Now, lovely, we have completed our first job. I'm on a boat, and it's very, very pretty. I really like the art. Very nice. The town itself outside looks really nice as well. Having the boat gave us a nice view of everything. You've completed 100% of the job and we get £2,170 for doing it. So we'll take a look at all of our final pictures so we can see how much mess we've got rid of. I think we might have saved Jimmy's butt. I don't think his dad's going to be upset. He'll probably realise that something happened, but at least Jimmy won't be in too much trouble. Oh, that's really pretty. I like it. I do like the boat. Well, there we go. That's the first job. So now that we've completed the job, I believe that we'll be able to buy the boat from the menu inside the house on the computer. So let's go and take a look at that and see how much the boat will be to purchase. There we go. New house unlocked. Complete each job to unlock new houses for purchase and renovation. Check your laptop in the office to see which houses are available for purchase. 
Let's go inside. Oh, no, open the door, don't turn the torch on. <laughs> so here's my little home office, and there's my computer tail. Let's take a look at the boat. So, no, not jobs. We've now got another job open in the luxury flipper, but we want to actually look at per buying. So that's under browser and for purchase. And now we want to look for the boat and see where. Oh, there it is! A yacht with an ocean view. £82,535 to purchase it and it looks in much worse state than what we've just left. Oh gosh, that is a complete mess. Yes, you're definitely going to be renovating and starting from the beginning on that one, aren't you? So there we go, now the yacht is available for purchase and to renovate for ourselves. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From Soft Kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming!